Anavex is is kind of a tough short for that reason. Like, you're just gonna have a two year or one year EMA review that's just gonna drag on, and the EMA is gonna reject it, and maybe the stock goes down fifty percent or something like that. Um, they're sitting on this really old, stale data, this fairly bad data, and um, yeah, that's kind of the way the stock will play out. Yeah, their 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 grammar is really really rough. I don't know who writes that, who writes their press releases, but they need maybe maybe it's the model. I mean, you're talking about a publicly traded company. You should be able to like write clearly. Your whole job is to explain things to the public. It's not too much to, to ask. I don't know what's going to happen to Bitcoin, but I'm I'm not bullish. I'm going to short IO as well. Ripple, IO, and Tau, I think are good good shorts. Um, yeah, quantitative investing is a field. You can do it. It's not uh, my specialty exactly, but yeah, I think Bitcoin's going to create a lot of a lot of uh, losers because you really have to be willing to hold the asset for ten or twenty years, and if you have a huge position, that becomes harder to do. There are sometimes stocks like Johnson and Johnson was in the in the doghouse for twelve years. You have to be willing to ride out the doghouse. Even Buffett didn't couldn't write out the doghouse in Johnson and Johnson. Get sick of it, sold. So, it's it's tricky, man. I don't think the lawsuits are what's important for J and J. I think it's just the pipeline and the earnings growth and stuff like that. Yeah, I think ETH is a short too. Well, I mean, it is what it is, BS cat, but it doesn't change the other problems. There's a lot of problems with uh, with Anavex. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be a 25 billion market cap. You got a clean. You got a clean Alzheimer's drug. Market cap would be very big. It is not clean. You just never met with the CEO. Yeah, the, the CEO of Anavex trips up everyone's fraud meter. Changing the primary endpoints. I mean, there, there's just... How much stock does he own? Yeah, I don't think Anavex has too many institutional stockholders. It's like really similar to... Uh, really, really, really similar to Cassava. Like eerily similar. Yeah, I looked at this. There's no like drug investor in the world that believes in in this company that's really scary state of the sava address give us a new state of the state of address please oh my god financial freedom you want the investing opportunity of a lifetime take a look at cassava science's price it's look look at this do you believe this look oh at this. investing friends friends of financial freedom you want the oh investing friends friends of financial freedom you want the investing opportunity of a lifetime take a look at cassava science's price it's the lowest it'll ever be he looks like uh, it looks like an infomercial. I see GS, which if you're in finance, you know that stands for Goldman Sachs. Cassava's dead. <laughs> There's nothing left in Cassava. That was a year ago. I don't know if he's preying on the ignorant. He's the ignorant, right? It's like a mix. Okay, so they had some MP MC hard PC data with PSA drops. They had some CRS. That's not good. I guess it depends on. This isn't Jaguar, this is Janix. Okay, this is a really small market cap. Icon's company, should we look at Carl Icon's company? I think a lot of people want, want to look at that. IEP, shall we? I think it'll be fun. Okay, so let's look at Carl Icon's thing. Oh man, I have to take Cassava off my focus list. Well, I feel like I should still be short it. The interactive gods don't want me to be short it. Yeah, I don't know about Rock, Rocket Lab. Okay, IEP. 475 units. This is an MLP, remember. Uh, you know, all the dividend shenanigans, I would just try to focus on what is the core underlying business. I like that turnaround expenditures. I don't know, I didn't see it in here. Repayments of subsidiary borrowings. I mean, the company is 10 billion in revenue. It's, they're doing something. Yeah, the subtext, I guess, is that like, they wanted to build a, a mini Berkshire and Maybe they didn't quite get there. Yeah, it's Amelix part two, right? That's what everyone's saying on Capricorn. Okay, so energy is their main revenue generator. And they have automotive. So energy and automotive, pretty cyclical stuff. Oh, they have long positions and short positions. Short, short positions have cost them billions of dollars. It's been down three years in a row. Oof, yikes. I am short micro strategy, yeah. Just got, got rid of it to get some more margin. I'm not hedged, quite frankly. I am long VKTX. That portfolio is a little bigger now. What? I'm almost done with my million dollar challenge. My uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin could keep going up. MicroStrategy could definitely keep going up. It's possible.
Well, they've had positive uh, cash flow from operations three years in a row. IEP is pretty complicated. A lot of moving parts. But I wonder if it's long. <laughs> I've always liked Carl. Yeah, but you know, there's still some business there, Patel. Carl's not going to live forever. I don't know, Ari. I, I don't think most people are trying to get a salary out of a finance job. Of course, Peter, you know, you take what you can get, but the goal isn't necessarily salary. I can't make too many heads or tails of the new more data. I'm not sure. Order filled. What I think of that Order one. Order partially filled. Oh, yeah. Intel could really get taken over by Qualcomm now that there's no CEO. Wow, SMCI running. Cool, he's not a legitimate law firm. Yeah, let's buy some Baba. I agree. See, I want to stay short Sava because it's. I think it's going to go to like 250 or something. That's still pretty good short if you think about it. I would just keep working. I wouldn't worry about investing in LA. Order film. Um, Sava right now is less than that because Q4 is almost over. It's like 290, isn't it? It should trade below cash. 311 actually, right? Maybe Sava's not worth it. The calls are a hedge against uh, shorting DJT. Calls, out of the money calls will will drop if they don't, uh, but they're very cheap ways to guarantee some leverage. You just need the other side of the trade to work too. Order partially filled. The worst case scenario is you have Order just, uh, you're long these options that decay, and then you're short a stock that, uh, DJT is just sort of, you know, truth social, which is hard to, it's hard to want to own Truth Social. I think the market, I think people will give up and just kind of move to like a different meme, like MicroStrategy or something. Now I'm buying him, SMCI. Look at this chart. Look at this chart. I'm a chartist now. It's free money, dog. They said the company's clean. The company said the company's clean. That's good. <laughs> I what see the line, the line go up. This is number go up technology. Doesn't matter, Chan. They said. The company said they're cool. They're okay, all right? Everything's cool now. Don't you get it? Come on, bro. Watch me lose 50 bands on SMCI. Okay, this guy has a golf thesis. Now I'm getting excited. I'm getting a little bit, um, how do you guys call that? Uh, just getting a little, little uh, tingling feeling. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that. Let's go, here we go, SMCI. Come on, baby. Need this bread. Uh, <laughs> AVXL is not a long. Don't do that, Atlas. Come on. Yeah, and WBO is a short, I think. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just splash some water in my face. I think that might be a great idea. You guys give me the best stock picks. Make sure you sign up for Goodell. GoodellTerminal.com. Um, building some really cool features for you guys, including some quant features that you're going to love. I don't think Trump owning DJT makes a difference. I had to sell DJT. I really wanted to hold it. But they told me, sir, you have to sell it. So I sold it to Shkreli so he could cover his short for one dollar. That's a good guy. That's a good guy, Shkreli. Filament A, best protein. Nibbles, best cat right here. Yes, that's right. Yeah, look, DJT, you can love Donald Trump, but he's not done well in public companies. If you look at his history, he had a public company a while back. It didn't go great. He's going to make money for himself, not sure for other shareholders. Just keep it in mind, you know? Again, love the guy as a politician. Okay, this, this SMCI is not looking so great. Oh, I'm out of, right, I'm out of locate. That's the problem with this thing. But when is the data coming? Is it coming by the 20th? I'll just short more at 10. Order partially filled. You think this is a game? Order filled. I don't think that'll happen, one, two. There's no phase three event for AVXL. They already had phase three. Ah, oh, come on, SMCI, don't do this to me. If I put the top in in the stock, I'm going to be so mad. Order partially filled. Talking about playoffs? Order filled. Playoffs? I've, I've traded SMCI somewhat well. But yeah, I, I understand that it's a bit of a... Wow, up front of a bill? But yeah, now I'm, uh, I'm underwater on this SMCI. Not very happy. SMCI is not a long. I, I, I just try to make some quick money. <laughs> Order partially filled. Esophago. 
gastoduodendoscopy. Or a partially filled. Jesus. My biggest position right now is short, short DJT. I really did top it. No, I bought it around 4280. I think Trump locked himself up for DJT a little bit longer. I don't think it matters. Yeah, Justin, that's exactly right. Huma, Huma product is, is just not a good product. Nobody's going to use it. So it's such a good short. Did you see this chick talking smack to me about Huma? It was really funny. Poor lady. Huma's going to zero. Yeah, I think so. I don't know if DJT can go to back to single digits, but it was, wasn't it single digits at one point? I don't think the people on X really know what they're talking about, to be honest, but I don't think they're getting bought out or something like that. Eventually they might. Uh, Huma has one product, which is just like a bizarre, bizarre little uh, graft. You know, he's, he's developed a lot of heuristics looking at biotech for 20, 20 something years, but he's not, he's not a like first principles thinker. So for example, he was right on cassava, but that doesn't mean he can like look at drug companies from scratch and really understand what's going on with them. He can spot a fraud though. He said some bad things about me a while back and that's why I don't like him. I'll, I'll probably unfollow him, but look, I mean, I have a be begrudging respect, I guess, but on a scale of one to 10, he's not exactly uh, towards the high end of that scale. I also follow a guy that's named Pee Pee Poo Poo, so. It's actually very good. No, XKO, he more was suggesting that I did something wrong, and it really did contribute to um, most likely my arrest and stuff like that. So just a bunch of innuendo. It does say gastric, no? Oh, it says gastic? <laughs> How was it so powerful? <laughs> this thing just crushed the stock by 2%. See, this is the cassava mindset. This is Joe. Joe Springer's like, clearly Creed is related to the stock price. Well, I have to look into this further. Correlation, causation. Eh, eh. Yeah, it's just a carbohydrate. That's why, look at the name, pectin, Bella pectin. It's literally a pectin. It's banana peel. <laughs> Let me give you the IV banana peel. I know you're dying, but I got you. I actually don't know where the pectin is in the fruit. Let's see. Apple, oh, citrus peel, see? It's IV citrus peel. I got you. Here, hold still. Oh! Look at this. Uninterrupted straight line up. That was the Creed. Creed did that. Look at the biggest volume candle. is a big sale. That's not a, never a good thing. Another one there, too. All these green candles, no volume. This guy actually is now stop lost. It's over. Every trader has the long and short alter ego. Roblox, my favorite. Roblox. If I made you money on Shaggy, you better, you better, you better get a subscription to Godel. Oh man, this this chart's looking ugly. It was looking beautiful earlier. Ugly. Shout out to Founders Fund, the best venture capital firm in the world. You want to change the world, you want to be number one, you want to do things differently, you want to fulfill your destiny, you call Founders Fund. You don't stop calling till you get funded. Then you change the world. So somebody asked about shorting Palantir. When you can short like trash companies like Huma, AVXL, um, MicroStrategy, like why would you short a good company? Even if it's overvalued, I would just maybe not be long. But I wouldn't be short something that's when you have the opportunity to short trash, you know, that's another story. When you don't have that opportunity, yeah, maybe, maybe it's worth considering, but find some good trash to short first. Yeah, just for the stream for the lulls, I had a like 10x leverage on cassava. <laughs> that was for the lulls, not serious stuff. And I'm going to keep doing that again and again, just for the lulls for you guys, because I know you enjoy it. I know you like it. Yeah, we're gonna do crypto too, Michael, definitely. No, I don't have 160. I think very few people have a 160 IQ. I'm more like 140. But you know, IQ doesn't really mean much. Easy to say that, I guess, but you know, you need tenacity, you need will, you need likability. A lot of people with IQ are, are jerks. <laughs> 
I don't think that nootropics really even exist, to be honest. Creativity, extremely important. Yeah, IQ is a little overrated. Creativity is, is accomplishments. Money is not a horrible surrogate if that's what you're going for. Mm, polymaths are fairly uncommon because it's very hard to know a lot about a lot. I know a little bit about a little. Some people think I'm a polymath, not really. I think creativity can be nurtured, yeah, yeah. I think there's a little bit of both. Yeah, but Tim, that, that's not a clinical trial. You thinking something worked, if that's how drugs would work, cassava would have been FDA approved. That's just not the way any of this stuff works. I think Huma will go bankrupt before Sava? I'm sorry, before AVXL? Oh, well, Aaron's just working. Whenever you're reading something, you, you have to ask yourself, what does it mean? Do I know what this is? If the answer is no, then you go, you know, what do I have to learn or study to figure this out? And you may not have to be the world expert, you know, in something. You could just sort of improvise or try to gain some expertise. I don't know. You know, a lot of the times in when you start a company and stuff like that, you you have to get the gist of it. You have to get the 90% of it. You can't, uh, yeah, I guess that's true, Dave, but I, I see them at some point giving up as they com go to commercialization, if they can get commercialization. AVXL has also withered for a while. Um, I started off liking software, believe it or not. I would say between finance and biochem, I was very interested in both very early. But I was probably interested in chemistry before finance. I started becoming interested in, in finance around like nine or 10 years old. Um, but I was in, interested in chemistry probably a little before then. Wait, SLS said they're, when they're going to release? Autofill. I don't think SLS said when they're going to release. I don't think we have a date. And we, I don't even know if it is in the next coming weeks. Yeah, I don't know. I would learn Python, yeah. JavaScript's up there, though. TypeScript, JavaScript. This one says Q424, yeah. I don't know. They, they've kind of been a misleading kind of company, to be honest. Yeah, finance, maybe economics, I don't know. It depends tier, it depends on how much, what, who the person is. I would recommend JavaScript just to get you interested. If you might be the person that after a couple programming classes you say, you know what, I'm going to quit, then JavaScript might keep you in where you otherwise might exit. If you're super determined, you're going to be a programmer, you, know, you might want to go to, to C. C, uh, maybe even Java, I hate to say it. Uh, C or, or, I mean, Python's fun, but it also is a serious language. You could kind of do one of the other more elaborate languages as well. Scala or something, I guess, but I start with C. C or, or, or Python. C++, C Sharp, it's all the same thing. Learn Scratch from scratch. Golang, yeah, yeah, Golang, good idea. I don't know about HTMX, but Golang's good. I think, you know, learning the technique of programming is much, much more important than learning the syntax of random languages, you know. That. Get excited about it, then start thinking about, okay, what do really good people do when they program? Try not to think about how you think you should program. You know, keep in mind that there is techniques that you have to learn. There are techniques, data structures and different things like that. You really do have to. The scissor thing is just a nervous habit I have. I was diagnosed with panic disorder as a teenager. I take medicine for it. Pretty bad. Um, severe anxiety. And sometimes I just do random weird stuff. So, sorry. <laughs> Something I have to stop, but I also don't, don't like shaving. Some people do shave with scissors. For me, it's largely, it's a, I guess, you know, yes, after a while, I don't have any hair left to cut, but <laughs> I don't love shaving with razor to some extent. So maybe it is part of it, but I don't know. It's, it's just sometimes I, I stretch a lot, I play with my hair. You know, it's a lot of that extra nervous energy. I know I don't panic because I'm scared of something or afraid. It's just this thing in my brain. I mean, I can't help it. So I don't have any, like, fears. <laughs> I'm the most fearless person you'll ever meet. So the irony is, you know, this nervous energy will bubble up. Now, ever since I started taking the drugs, maybe it's one of the reasons I love the drug industry, is um, 
the drug really saved my life, to be, to be frank. And I've never really had panic attacks since. Now, I sometimes will have like a subclinical panic bubbling up, but it doesn't reach a full-blown panic attack. Um, I take Effexor. I actually ended up hiring the guy who did the phase three trials for Effexor. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> um, I like the SNRI. I've never taken an SSRI, actually, I don't think. It was like the first and last drug I ever took for panic disorder, and it's awesome. But I still have a little bit residual, you know, a tiny, tiny bit. It's still kind of, like I said, just creeps up a bit. SSRIs and SNRIs, their side effect profile is not that bad. Yeah, that's, you're just uh, on uh, for, for eczema? I don't have ADHD, no. I do think the caffeine tends to increase my anxiety, but I also kind of need it for the energy. I don't really have too many losses in SMCI. I came back nicely. Coming back down a little bit here, but I, I like I like how this pain playing out. Oh, DJT now hard to borrow. No, I don't worry when I really like a stock and it's falling. That doesn't worry me too much. It's not falling too too heavy. It's kind of been around this price for a while, you know. Yeah, it's a long term bet. It's not really a this week next week type thing. Lily's okay. Why would DJT and Twitter merge? No, I, I only made money in RKLB. I sold on Friday. <laughs> I've been getting lucky on it. I sold by, like, after I bought it, I sold by the end of the day, I think. Or Friday morning. Order partially filled. Order filled. Whoever it is I'm trading against at Citadel or Jane Street's had enough. They don't want more of this action. Huma uh, doesn't have a business yet. They just have a... Uh an investigational product. So they're trying to make a product. Um, and that product is a vein graph. So if they get the vein graph FDA approved, they might be able to start selling it. If they were able to start selling it, it's probably not going to sell well. So that's basically all you need to know. DOD, DOD takes lots of experiments. They had Project BioShield. Order canceled. BioShield was really interesting. I was short that. That made a lot of me a lot of money back then. Product's got to work. That's the key thing with any product. <laughs> Doesn't work. It's not good. Product works. That's good. That's my stunning analysis. That's what you go to business school for. I think human shorts pretty pretty safe. Well, like I said, you know, if we we everyone agreed on everything, we would not have a stock market. We would have an agreement market with no trades. So. I'm glad somebody disagrees. We'll see what happens. Yeah, so if you short and use calls, you can maximize your short. So I want to be able to short as much as possible of Huma. So the calls allow me to 10x my short. Otherwise, I'd be stuck with a 1x, which I don't want. I would bet this whole account on Huma. Let's put it that way. <laughs> Seriously, what's the market cap of Huma? I'll short it all. Hey, listen, somebody's going to be right, somebody's going to be wrong. I'll be, I'll be wrong sometimes. Remember, I like Intilia. That's been a dog. I'm, just, I'm happy if I bat 60%. Well, fully diluted, I'm not sure what the market cap is because they just sold a bunch of stock and warrants.